Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for Marvel's Disney Plus special presentation, Werewolf by Night. As you can see, we got... The, the light flickering over there. I got some candles over here. Electronic candles. Don't want to burn down my studio. But we are in the mood for this. But we have to do one other thing. One other thing to truly put us in the mood. Let's do it. And hopefully now you're seeing this all in black and white because that's how the movie was shot. And baby, it makes it beautiful. Reminds me of the universal monsters and with the practical effect of Jack Russell, played by Gernal Garcias Bernal, um, just makes everything so awesome. Uh, I... <sighs> I'm going to rave about this movie. This is, I love me some Werewolf by Night. And um, do I think there was a couple of weird, interesting things that ultimately didn't take me away from the movie? They were just interesting show, choices. We have Michael uh, Giracchino, I think is this how you pronounce his name, a composer. And you can tell the music is just banging in this. He also steps in the director's chair to take this over. We This presentation, which I think if Marvel goes this way with like their bigger, not, not bigger, but like the more mid-tier guys like Werewolf by Night, not everybody knows that guy, so give him that one-off, see how it goes, bring him back. We will obviously see this character again in future works probably the black knight blade like we will see him again there's no way they're going to cast this actor and put this much money into this if they're not going to bring him back in marvel does that and we know marvel does this was probably like this was my favorite pre i mean we still have one more presentation to go but this was my favorite out of the disney pluses it really really is and once there's more of these, I'll eventually rank them and stuff like that. But let's see, let's see where the next few take us. Uh, we possibly, well, we know we have the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. There's a possibility a Vision one is going to happen, a Silver Surfer one, a couple others in the works. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, we now that I've rambled on completely. We have Laura Donnelly stepping into Elsa Bloodstone. She's a badass. I don't know why people like Grace Randolph were like, this is definitely not our Elsa Bloodstone. No, this is the first version of Elsa Bloodstone in the MCU. So no, you're not getting your Elsa Bloodstone from the comics. You have to build up to that character, and it definitely builds up to that. And we get the introduce, introduction of Man-Thing. Uh, played by uh, Corey Jones, Casey Jones, Corey Jones. I loved it. There was a Man Thing uh, movie back, back, back in the day, uh, which I will cover on this channel. But this was awesome. And the whole idea behind the, we, we bring all these hunters in here to hunt, to hunt something. The person to claim the bloodstone is the leader and i loved it obviously you knew that elsa was going to end up with the bloodstone at the end because you got to reveal uh Gernal's, that he's a werewolf and after the transformation and i loved it in black and white because there was so much blood it was so brilliant so beautiful i didn't like that as much as I'm just raving about this movie, and I am raving about this movie, uh, one thing I didn't like was all the dead people. Like one, one was like Dracula, uh, Dracula, and like why? 
Like, that sucks, because we'll never, we'll probably never get to see that character. Unless I'm incorrect about the character, it's the one where he's talking with the guy, and he's like, I've had a lot of run-ins with him. We'll never get to see that in any of the movies? That sucks. I think that sucks. Personally, I think that sucks. That's just me, but I think it sucks. Uh, there was, there was a couple other things that, like, I, I like the idea that it's all in the same universe, but it didn't feel like this, it, it felt more like a one-off, like, we're not gonna get these characters, but we do know we're gonna get these characters. I just kinda wished it was, there was a little bit more connection, maybe had Blade or somebody, like, show up, but you can't ask for everything. You, you can't ask for everything, you can't get everything that you want. But I did truly, truly, truly love this movie. This is awesome. I love the special presentation uh, format. It's brilliant. Where does this lie on my five-star ranking? This is a four-star show movie. It's brilliant. Uh, Giacchino, awesome. I hope he gets brought on to do something bigger. Donnelly and Bernal, amazing, 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 amazing. I, it was awesome. And definitely go watch it and enjoy what you're watching. Because this is a absolute love letter to those 1930s films. And really what you want to see in cinema quite honestly. Thank you guys so very much for watching this review. I love you guys. Thank you. I will see you in our next review.